Today I will teach you the process of reading data from JSON files using Python pandas. So in Python pandas library, we have a method called read underscore JSON. And for this, we need to pass a parameter like it could be a file path from the local drive or the URL from the website or a JSON string as an input for this particular function. And all JSON files are having the extension called dot JSON. Now here you can see the code. I need to import the pandas library because I need to work out the read underscore JSON function and I'm giving the logical name as pd for the pandas. So I'm writing input pandas as pd and pd dot read underscore JSON function I'm using. And here I need to actually write the URL as a file path from where you're going to read. Since it's an online platform, Google platform, Google Colab platform. So you can see you have some files here. So you need to upload the JSON file. So I'll show this, show you the structure of the JSON file. So now this is a sample example. So here you can go for an open floor base and this is a column name, colon. For the values you need to write. Now this 0, 1, 2, 3 are index numbers and these are the values for every row. So this is first column. Similarly, I'm having second column. Again, the index number and its values. So Totally 169 records are there. For every column, 169 records are been there. So like that, I have the four columns. So this is a complete document. So you can create up to your own requirement set of records. Now here I need to upload that. Just click this button. Go for the data file where you have saved, JSON file, and you get that. And just you click here the three dots, copy path, and here in double quotes, the single quotes, you need to just paste it, control V. And that has been creating a, the data frame reference and you open that reference. So this is the process of uh, reading the data from JSON file. You just run it and you can see the complete set of records. So top five records and bottom five records are available here. If you want to see the complete set of records, you just call two underscore string function. And just rerun. You can see all the set of records. So here you have four columns, one, two, three, four, and uh, zero to one sixty eight records totally. Okay. Thank you.